example, the solar flares. Uh, there are certain solar flares that they tell me, but they told me, uh, and I, I see it, um, that there is a some kind of a shield. The way the planet is, I see a shield uh, of an energetic shield. And the energetic shield, I can see it is in three layers. And in between the three layers, there's some kind of a particles. And the particles, if this is the earth, and for example, from the sun, you have like uh, whatever, solar flares or whatever they coming through, around the earth, I see some kind of a shield, but I, I see the shield almost like this like that comes like that and between each shield if i'm gonna do the earth in a little bit different way so you can see if this is the earth and it's coming rays from the sun that shield for example that shield is in three layers that is protecting this to come in, but inside that between each layer, there's a tiny particles, very, very tiny particles. That's what they show me. Uh, and that is protecting when it reaches first, they tell me when that reaches the first layer, if anything penetrates, they explaining this to me now, so I'm downloading information. Uh, if it reaches some cow, something reaches in, these tiny particles are grabbing this thing and converting it and becomes a different energetic field to convert it. Then if there's any particle left of this one, it's happening the same thing here. And it becomes basically it's three layers. So if it's three layers, probably it's another one. But they told me it's a three layers. But I see, I see three shields like that. One, two, three, I see, and the particles in between. So... Anything that comes in, um, and also has some kind of a water in there, some kind of substances like a water, but I'm not sure what type of water. Some kind of a water, something like this is involved in there. Um, and then the water, I'm continuing with that. Then the water, if it penetrates, comes like a droplets. But listen to this, when it comes like a droplet, does something to the inner layer of the ozone, outer layer of the ozone, and also becomes, also when it becomes in the inner layer of the, oh, that's brilliant, listen to this. When it comes into the particles and actually converts that, into the particles, anything that leaks in becomes like a little water droplets, but it's some kind of a substance. And these water droplets, when they reach the all the outer ozone layer, they're actually cleaning the ozone, guys. It's almost like a couple of each each layer causes uh, almost like it's designed when it interacts with this one with the rays of the sun and the solar flares converts to something else, then if uh, they become droplets of some kind of a substance like a water, and when it reaches the uh, outer layer of the earth that is almost like the pollution and the stuff, it also becomes a chain reaction, and it kind of clears things out, some kind of a chain chemical reaction it becomes, and actually clears uh the inner layer oh and they're telling me this is the reason why you have not gotten so sick because this is what it's done and this is like a high-tech you know advanced you know technology that so if anybody says that oh my god where are they they're not helping us uh this is a lot of stuff that they're dealing with